this video highlighting the sources and the importance of vitamin A. Our body doesn't produce vitamin A on its own, and we have to get vitamin A from the foods we eat. Vitamin A is essential for vision and for the function and maintenance of our heart, lungs, kidneys, and other organs. Vitamin A is a family of substances called retinoids that includes retinol, retinal, and retinoic acid. Retinol is the most usable of the three forms and can be converted to both retinal and retinoic acid in our body and are called preformed vitamin A because they are in a form that our body readily uses. Vitamin A, which we obtain from foods, are of two types, one is preformed vitamin A and the other is provitamin A, carotenoid. Preformed vitamin A are in a form that our body readily uses. Preformed vitamin A is found only in foods from animal sources, such as liver, eggs, fish, and dairy products like cheese and butter. Plant food sources do not contain preformed vitamin A. Provitamin A, carotenoid are found in sweet potatoes, carrots, butternut squash, and some more other veggies. Carotenoid is converted to vitamin A in our body and are not in a form that our body can readily use it. All carotenoid cannot be converted to vitamin A by our body. There are over 600 different carotenoids, but only 3 beta carotene and alpha carotene can be converted to vitamin A. The amounts of vitamin A in breast milk are sufficient to meet infants' needs for the first 6 months of life. After 6 months, additional doses of vitamin A are given. Children with vitamin A deficiency in infants and children used to suffer from zero ophthalmia and may worsen if not treated in time. Due to lack of vitamin A, the thin lining of our eyelid and eyeball, called the conjunctiva, dries out, thickens, and begins to wrinkle. That drying out and wrinkling causes zero ophthalmia. Night blindness is an early symptom and if not treated may lead to blindness. As zero ophthalmia progress, spots can be seen on eyes, and the spots can be oval, triangular, or irregular in shape. The spots are a sign of vitamin A deficiency, and associated with drying of the cornea, and are known as bited spots. In ancient times, vitamin A deficiency was treated with animal liver, which is where vitamin A is stored. Vitamin A is fat soluble and the body stores excess amounts in the liver. Normally, the liver stores 80 to 90 percent of the body's vitamin A, and the body releases it into the circulation bound to prealbumin, transteritin, and retinol binding protein. The vitamin A we get from plants normally does not harm the liver, but excessive preformed vitamin A from animal source can damage the liver and is not reversible. A person suffering from vitamin A deficiency get better result if animal liver is included in their daily diet since the vitamin A is preformed vitamin A that is it is in most usable form a normal person could opt for provitamin A carotenoid that is from the vegetable source of food like sweet potatoes and carrot one can easily meet one's requirements for vitamin A by regularly eating some foods rich in vitamin A since vitamin A is fat soluble it is more efficiently absorbed into the bloodstream when eaten with fat. Preformed vitamin A, that is, the animal sourced foods are high in fat, but the provitamin A, that is, the plant sourced foods is not high in fat. By adding small amount of oil in our salad, which is often known as dressing the salad, can improve the absorption of provitamin A by our body. Adding oil to our salad not only improve the absorption of provitamin A by our body, but it could increase the absorption of nutrients, including vitamins A, E, and K also, which help our body in cancer prevention and improved vision. The human body can absorb the nutrients easily if oil is added. Normally olive oil, which is rich in vitamin E is added to salad, but the poor people especially the village people used to add mustard oil with salads, which also can help in absorbing the nutrients and vitamins more easily. Nutrients do and even reducing meat intake has a protective effect. The ideas or facts provided in this video are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease, but only sharing my knowledge about vitamin A. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more.